This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Alright, so last time on Fruit of Grisea, uh, we officially started dating Sachi, and we had some pretty cute moments together. However, uh, I'm a little worried about what's going to happen, just because, again, Sachi basically can't say no to anybody, so... I'm a little concerned that it's going to be a slightly manipulative relationship between the two of them, but hopefully not. At least Yuji seems to be aware of this. And it sounds like we're just going to try helping her uh, get for work through her issues and from her past. So, I don't know. I'm hoping that this will have a good ending, and I'm hoping that it won't be... <laughs> I'm hoping it won't get creepy, but you know what? It's rated M, so we might get some dark storyline. We've already had some dark storyline with her flashback. Anyhow, let's just dive on in and see what's going to happen. Walls have ears, shoji have eyes, is a long-standing proverb in this country. And in modern times, when minuscule spy cameras can be mounted on mosquitoes, it's truer than ever. Since such electronic bugs are significantly more credible and accurate than an ear against the door, you could say the advances of science have only worsened the ancient problem of information security. And it seems even this isolated community known as Mahama Academy is no exception to the general trend. Let down your guard for even a moment, and you'll suffer the consequences. <laughs> Oh, brother. Of course they would be gossiping. Their, their lives are boring, so they need all of the drama that they can get. Sure, Makina. Sure. <laughs> Good, because if Makina had a tuna fish man body pillow, we would need to have a long talk. Amine heaves a small sigh, barely audible over the churning of the washing machine at her side. As it so happened, our little courtyard interlude yesterday was recorded by a camera Makina had set up in the courtyard as part of a surveillance mission targeting Michiru, rendering Sakaki's considerate discretion sadly meaningless. You can't be spying on us. That's creepy. By this morning, the lap pillow incident was common knowledge throughout the dorm and beyond. Anyway, Sakaki, you decide on your request yet? If she doesn't have anything she wants us to do, then that's fine. She, she actually has her life together, potentially. Since I've now spent a day in servitude to both Amine and Michiru, the pair of them magnanimously decided that today would be Sakaki's turn. But if a genie popped up and told the girl, you have 30 seconds to ask me for anything you desire, I'm pretty sure she'd give her the time away and end up empty-handed. I'm still on standby at the moment. Oh yeah, the massage. Look, Yumiko, if you if you don't have anything you want done, that's fine. You don't no pressure. It's just an offer if there was something you want done. Afternoon, Nick. How you doing? <laughs> of course, the girls will be spying on you. I mean, it, it is a student body of only six. P what? The wow, Twitch. Wow. Twitch thought the word jerk was so bad it shouldn't be allowed in my chat. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> Twitch is so weird. <laughs> there are only six students in the student body, so it's only natural that they would be in each other's business, because probably not a whole lot interesting happens in their lives. But still, this is getting kind of weird. <laughs> If you have a camera in her room, Amine, we're going to need to have a long talk. If Makina has cameras in her, Yumiko's room, then we're going to need to have a long talk. Look, ma look, Amine, <laughs> Yumiko just discovered what Let's Plays are and just was going down a dark YouTube rabbit hole. <laughs> My G rated G rule is killing the Twitch chat. You know what? The problem is, I, most of my streams are family friendly. Other than, like, the visual novel streams, most of them are family friendly, and I don't want people cussing like sailors in the chat. And if I allow the cuss words in this chat, it'll affect the other chat. That's the problem. <laughs> so, sorry. <laughs> but not really. Oh, Sachi's here too. Is everybody here? Has someone been using Sachi for late-night spying operations again? Sachi, have you been putting cameras in people's rooms? We've talked about this. 
Well, I don't mind waiting for directions, but if you aren't going to ask for something, it seems a little pointless for me to be here. If you really can't think of anything, I'll get back to my own business. I can do laundry. That all? Hmm. Alright. These washing machines make it easy as the press of a button, so there's no problem on my end. <laughs> what Yumiko's not telling us is that she hasn't done her laundry in a year and just has a bunch of clothes. <laughs> Arriving on the scene with an overflowing laundry basket in her hands, Michiru peeks over her mountain of dirty clothes with an expression of clear surprise. What mountain of dirty clothes? She has two outfits! <laughs> Watch it not even be her birthday. Either that or it is her birthday, in which case, oof. Why is everyone gla glaring at her? Well, that's life. Hang in there, kid. Deflating like a punctured inner tube, Michiru trudges sullenly on toward the washing machines. She's just washing her hoodies. The gasp! Scandalous! We can't let him see your socks. Or maybe she washes those separately. Huh? Okay, you're the client, so that's fine by me. You can just separate all of those. As soon as the words are out of her mouth, Sakaki hurries out of the laundry room and descends the stairs at a trot. Seemingly, or she seems strangely flustered. Don't tell me she's still hanging on to a pair of lucky teddy bear panties. Hmm. She could have just separated them, but you know, you know, that's fine. Hi, Prince Dusk. How's it going? Hmm. Come to think of it, there was a time when I thoughtfully washed a pile of JB's dirty laundry without being asked. And although the woman usually walks around with her underwear half exposed, her reaction was an angry snarl to the effect of, I'll do it myself. Seems pretty consistent with Amine's theory. Yes, this game is rated M, but I try to keep my commentary at no higher than T. <laughs> uh, not far, just down to the station. Why? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we need to go get some sour gummy bears at the store, Sachi. Heard the same thing from JB yesterday. Seems I'm not particularly well equipped for this sort of conversation. Well, she's also being really nosy, and this is none of her business. The original version is AO. This is not the original version, this is the censored version. Amine, this is none of your business. Okay! Look, woman! Edge. 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 Edge.
Yes, Saji, that is what she was talking about. It's a long story, Prince Dusk. Sachi is a student, and she's the class representative. And from her past, she basically thinks she has to listen to and obey every command everyone gives her. And someone jokingly said, like, Oh, man, you should wear a maid outfit, because you're so dutiful. And then she's like, okay, and now just always wears it. It's weird. No, she's, she's talking about hawks and hornets. And how they function in society. Hi, Florin, how's it going? Yes, make Amine uncomfortable. <sighs> you know, this is this is why I liked the really dark flashback best out of all of this story because because the flashback yeah it had some like very dark stuff in it, but it didn't have any of these like blatant like sexual intercourse like conversations because the flashback was when Sachi and Yuji were kids so they they obviously wouldn't talk about that and the story was interesting okay let's just fast forward for all this no 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 Would you... <laughs> Amine you started this you started this not bad, Sachi. Making Amine, of all people, bashful and is a considerable achievement. I didn't think it was even possible. I thought she had no shame. Um, Sachi, sour gummy bears. Gotta get those. Jewels Elf, thank you for the follow. Uh, you, you chose to follow at a very weird time, but I appreciate it and welcome. Okay! This is not okay to be talking about. You're the one who's starting this, Amine. Don't think I've ever seen her push this far before. Okay, we are just going to skip through this. This is extremely uncomfortable. It's definitely not a bad thing that our classmates care enough to express their concern, but no, no, no. This is completely inappropriate, and they're going to stop. Given Sachi's tendency to interpret advice in oddly distorted ways, I'm a little worried Amine's well-intentioned words may create more problems than they solve. Normal people don't talk about stuff like this with other people. Outside of, like, the people they're romantically involved with. Hmm. Looks about right. Confirming the cool air is once again flowing from the vent, I climb carefully down the step- uh, off the step ladder. Ooh, are we fixing the air conditioning? Are we really that much of a jack-of-all-trades that we can just soft- <laughs> just, like, casually fix the air conditioning? After anguishing at great length about her request, Sakaki ended up mumbling, Come to think of it, the air conditioning in the hallway hasn't been working too well lately, and sending me off on a chore largely irrelevant to her own. And so, after borrowing some basic tools from a closet, I performed some simple maintenance on the overhead AC unit, cleaning out the ducts and replacing the machine's filter. Wow, he actually is. <laughs> wow. Oh boy. <laughs> I actually- I had to call people in to my condo to clean out the air vents. I was not doing that myself. This is, the fact that Yuji's like a, a high school student and is this capable is incredibly unrealistic. Yeah, Artie will be hitting the water a lot this stream, because I generally sip water every time something awkward happens. That tends to be a lot. Even as she holds the ladder steady, Sachi's gazing up at me with something like wonder in her eyes. Also, I named the I, I titled the stream Wholesome Times? Question mark with Sachi? I put the question mark there because I thought there, I was hoping there would be wholesome times, but I didn't know. So it's not clickbait, and I'm not lying. I, just, I was just hoping for it. Apparently, we're not getting that. Okay, what's on your mind this time? Yeah, 
庭園管理士の資格だけでなく電気工事士の資格まで持っていたんですね Apparently not qualified or certified in either of those fields actually でもエアコンはちゃんと動いています All right, seriously, why is OBS on the fritz? Like, every t this isn't that hard of a game to stream. It's a visual novel. Yeah, when AC unit breaks down, nine times out of ten, it's because dust and grime has accumulated inside the machine over the years. Even without any specialized technical knowledge, it's possible to perform some basic repairs. And in the first place, the title of electrician means that you're licensed to wire buildings and such. That's a completely different can of worms. Yeah, that's not something you should mess around with unless you've had proper training. He's definitely a handy guy. I'm ever the optimist. I'm I'm optimistically pessimistic. I I hope for the best but expect the worst. Well, personally, I I personally went this route because I know a little about air conditioners. But if you're looking for the most reliable method of ensuring the request gets fulfilled, your judgment is probably the better one. Yeah. The hands-on approach is only feasible when you happen to know how to solve a specific problem, after all. This is why we have professionals. Maybe so. I'm not telling you to glue yourself to your desk even more than you already do, but it can't hurt to expand your breadth of knowledge. Yeah. Okay. Yeesh. I believe in waiting till marriage, Sachi. That didn't take long. Look, Sachi, this is just like the fiend of JB yesterday. Why are you so worried about whatever people say about us? Sachi, that. That's not, like, a good thing. <laughs> That's not like, oh, according to this data, we need to be part of it. That's not how that works. <laughs> I'm guessing these statistics came from another magazine you found in the convenience store rack. Look, you can't trust everything that Highlights tells you. Just a little statistical analysis of my own. My data indicates 99% of your data is that sort of crap. <sighs> this better not be what the whole stream is about. Otherwise, I might only be able to stream for an hour. <laughs> how long I can stream Fruit of Grisea is directly tied to how cringy and sexual the dialogue is. The more of it it has, the less I can stream for. Does that mean you want to try having sex, Sachi? If that if that happens, then <laughs> if that happens, then I have to end the stream, and I can't show that because Twitch will kick me off. But I've been told that no, I've been told that it's all been cut out of this version. Hmm. So even when it comes to something this serious, she relinqu she relinquishes any role in the actual decision. That's not good. Let me ask you something first. Would you really be all right having me as your first partner? You serious about that? Is that supposed to be your brand slogan? No, wouldn't say that, but... There's no doubt in my mind that Sachi's proposing this because of her belief that a good girl hews closely to the conventional way of doing things. Spoiler alert! That was not the conventional way of doing things until, like, the last few decades. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. In other words, her own will played virtually no role in this proposal. Of course, I'm not suggesting that adapting to the societal mainstream is a bad thing. It's... it definitely can be! <laughs> and I'm sure as hell not planning to play some sort of holy martyr who abstains from physical relationships. Oh, I, I am. <laughs> but right now, Sachi's still missing an important part of herself. For that reason, I've started this relationship off on a distinctly platonic note. Now that Sachi herself is approaching me, the question is not is whether or not I should allow things to move beyond that stage. Probably not a good idea. 
Oh, is this is this where we get a choice and that'll lead towards either the good end or the bad end? Ordinarily, the answer would be a flat no. But precisely because Sachi's wrapped herself inside this shell, I need to introduce changes into her life. This is not one of those good changes! <laughs> this offer represents a clear opportunity on that front. But that said, mind if I double-check this one last time? You don't find the idea of doing this with me unpleasant. I see. There's no guarantee the feelings Sachi expresses to me aren't real. If Sachi's convinced herself that a good girlfriend loves her boyfriend, she might very well override her own emotions to bring herself into alignment with that image. True, I'll never get anywhere if I get too caught up in this kind of doubt, but this is a serious enough step to warrant some caution. You think? At the very least, I think Sachi is sincere in saying she doesn't find the out idea outright unpleasant. In other words, we've met the absolute minimum condition for me to put my hands on her. Great. Just great! Alright, since you're obviously up for it, Sachi, let's move the relationship to the next step. I'm just gonna... Just gonna... Get my OBS scenes ready, so in case things start going a little spicy, I can change to a black screen and avoid Twitch kicking me off. Mm hmm. This is not good. This is where I'm really hoping the Steam version cut out everything steamy. Oh, that was a pun, and I didn't even intend it. About 20 minutes afterward, we headed to my room. Sachi emerges from the bathroom, her shower finally complete. Her mere presence fills the room with the fresh smell of soap. It's the sort of thing that gets a man's blood flowing. Took your time in there. Sure you did a thorough job, though? Might end up having some places you've never gotten a good look at yourself inspected. Okay, this is turning real bad. This is just going to be a perpetual water sip now. But you're still wearing the maid uniform, I see. Guys, I think streaming this was a mistake. Uh, they do say girls tend to collect lots of dubious secondhand knowledge about this sort of thing. Guess it'd probably be best not to bother asking about her source for this information. Highlights Magazine, what else? Her face betraying a hint of nervousness, Sachi looks up into my eyes. I'd like to believe that slight p pink flush in her cheeks isn't just a lingering effect of her shower. Let's see, according to standard theory, we would begin with whispering loving words and embracing each other. But today we're going to om omit that step. Wow, okay. No, it's just the fast, cheap, and satisfying is my personal motto. <laughs> <laughs> and Culver's is delicious. Naturally, this motto is a load of crap, but I want to put the kisses and affectionate words on hold until Sachi's managed to regain a normal emotional state. Might think it a little hypocritical for me to be so conscientious on that point, when we're about to do something more extreme. This is a Japanese visual novel you should have known. What? Known what? That there would be sex? I have played quite a few visual novels that had no sex whatsoever in it. Clonade recently? The Ace Attorney games, Ghost Trick, all those were made in Japan, none of those had sex. Granted, I knew I knew going into this that there were sex scenes, but I also heard that they were removed from this version, and I'm getting a little perplexed why we're kind of going in this direction. But I have my own way of thinking about the things that bind people together, and the way I see it, some things matter more than physical intimacy. Okay, okay, okay. I think... Good, I'm pretty sure that it going to black and coming back was the, the, the censored version skipping the scene. Okay, that's good. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I'm gazing at the scenery outside my window when Sachi walks up to my side, evidently finished with her second shower of the day. Okay, good, good, good! This is exactly what I was hoping for. You got nothing to apologize for. Getting impatient and rushing ahead rarely ends well, especially with this sort of thing. 
That doesn't seem quite enough to convince Sachi this time. She looks up at me with her big round eyes tinged with uncertainty. Don't worry about it, Sachi. Just take it easy for today, alright? I give Sachi a quick pat on the head and offer a few reassuring words. Without any further objection, she nods and leaves my room. So help me, if the others find out about this, I'm going to lose my mind. Girl's got sharp instincts. Not easy to lie to her. As Sachi seems to have vaguely sensed, my real reason for stopping halfway through was something else entirely. The truth is, the idea of going all the way like that just felt wrong. Good on you, Yuji. It's still not entirely clear to me why my, why my conscience suddenly kicked into overdrive, but... When I touched her intimately for the first time, something about the, my way of thinking changed. I'll have to wrap it up with that for now. I guess that hesitation may have ended up giving her something else to be anxious about. Not really what I was trying to accomplish here. But today, some part of me thought, this girl deserves to be treasured, and I don't think I was wrong. 